So if you have an Amazon or eBay live axle kit, I'm making this video for you with the measurements and everything so you know because the Chinese companies don't put it out there. And it's questionable on what they do put out there and there's stuff that doesn't make sense. So this is gonna be, you know, cut and dry, what everything is. So this is the 44 inch live axle kit. It's like 120 bucks shipped on Amazon. You can get them on eBay, Amazon, different prices, different configurations. This is a 44 inch. Um, so we'll start here with the hub. It is M10 by 1.25 as your thread for the hub ends. Bolt pattern is 110 millimeters across the four bolt, which is like Honda, stuff like that, four by 110. You know, it comes with a 530 sprocket. 530 sprocket, it's pretty big. And if you're doing like a go-kart, good luck finding a clutch or a torque converter that has a 530 tooth on it. So I adapted it. It has a two and five sixteenths bore, which is also 58 millimeter. It's 80 millimeter across and 57 millimeters like side to side. If you get this adapter, BMI cart sells, it has a bunch of different bolt patterns in it. The one that you need is the two and seven eighths and it fits perfectly on the center bore because their center bore they have advertised as a 2.3 inch. These four holes are very close. To get it to fit better, I had to drill them out to three eighths. And I use a step bit to get a nice round, perfect circle. Then I bolted right in. These bolts are M8 by 1.25. And with this adapter, if you go with a 20 millimeter long bolt, you get about four threads sticking out on that side, which works out pretty well. For the sprocket, now I have a 420 sprocket. This is a 54 tooth from Go Power Sports. Advertises a Manco sprocket. It's that big split sprocket bolt pattern. I believe it's five and a quarter. And I used flange bolts and flange nuts. These are quarter 20, they fit perfectly. Just tight enough going through where you know it's not gonna rock back and forth. I got the bolts and nuts from Lowe's. These are flange bolts, flange nuts, and then I use blue Loctite on every single one just to make sure that they don't come out. This is the rotor that comes with the kit. And these are M8 1.25 by 16, because this is a lot thinner than this adapter. So you get the same amount of thread protrusion on each side. So that works out really well. These, they have listed, I believe they have them listed like 25 inches apart. That's not accurate. It's more like 27. Like center hole to center hole. So on this Manco, I think this is a Red Fox. I'm gonna, I have some steel tubing and I'm gonna come out at a 45, go over, go in at a 45 put some C channel on the bottom to give a nice flat surface to bolt these two. And then once I have that piece coming out, I'm gonna notch both ends of a straight piece and put it right here as a brace just to kind of reinforce everything. And I am gonna bolt it from the bottom. That way all the weight is on that frame and not all the weight on your bolts. Um, I have to make a bracket for this cheap caliper I got on Amazon. And you wanna make sure whenever you do mount it, the bleeder's up. If, the, if you cannot, for whatever reason, get the bleeder facing up, you're gonna to have to bleed it before you assemble it because that bleeder screw needs to be at the highest point in the system to effectively bleed all the air out of the system. Um, if you guys have any other questions about measurements or anything, I'll be more than happy to help you out because no one really talks about it. I bit the bullet, got the axle. That way I know all the information and I can kind of help everyone else out instead of having to spend 
three four hundred dollars on a keyed uh, keyed axle from Go Power Sports BMI carts and all that. Um, trying to think whether kind of info you need. These bolts, they're metric ten point nine grade, so they're nice and strong. Blue Loctite again on the flanges too. Uh, I have a lot of flange bolts laying around from car projects and the S10 and all that. So I'll put a link in the description for the sprocket, this adapter. Just remember, you're gonna have to drill it out to three eighths with a step bit. Really easy because it's aluminum. M8 by 1.25, M10 by 1.25 not m10 by 1.5 because that's just typical like anything that's m10 is typically 1.5 thread pitch but this is 1.25 so it's considered like a fine thread um yeah like i said any other questions let me know i'll try to maybe post another video on after i get everything bolted in um i'm gonna have to mount the engine over here maybe probably have to run a jack shaft underneath the engine to power that sprocket that way the engine's facing the right way but yeah i'll put links in the description thanks for watching